was in recording, so welcome to a new reading vlog. I look really red because I just came off my bicycle. I was wearing way too much clothes for the weather it was. I thought it was, you know, it was getting warmer, but I thought this is this, like a pretty tin sweater. And by the way, in my kitchen. But uh, apparently, it's way hotter than I thought it was. Um, in case you're like seeing any scratches, you don't really see them that much anymore because they disappeared. I kind of had a fight with my sister's rabbit. Um, like I go feed and hang out with the bunny, with her bunny, while they're on vacation. But apparently that bunny doesn't really want me to be there. Apparently, well, it didn't really want to be like petted and everything. But that's okay. I'm currently in my kitchen because I went grocery shopping. This is, by the way, one of my favorite bags. I always use this one. This is from basically Brit. Okay, I realized I never updated you guys yesterday about what I'm actually reading. Um, this week I'm also still a week off, so that means I have a lot more time to read, although I haven't been reading that much. It's, by the way, Sunday. Uh, Sunday. <laughs> it's, by the way, Wednesday. I haven't been reading that much as I wished I was because of the fact that my book is going so extremely slow and I just don't really feel like progressing in it. And I'm talking about In the Watch by Stephen King. I am almost halfway through the book. I'm going to try to read at least 15 minutes every day in this one. Um, I was first thinking about like reading 15 minutes of this one and then just see what else I feel like. But I realized that if I do it like that, I will probably end up like not prioritizing that one and prioritizing different books and never finish this one. And this one is one that I need to finish for my calling. So I am going to um, prioritize this one this week if I and hope to get through like as much as possible. I mean, I think I read like 50 pages yesterday evening, so I kind of went through a lot. Uh, I'm currently sitting behind my desk, um, probably um, uploading, like editing or like writing articles or doing stuff like blog-ish related stuff. Um, but I'm this, at this around noon, I have to go to my sister's house. So I also want to read. I'm currently cooking chicken because uh, I prepared chicken for like this evening that I just only need to like marinate it. Well, it was marinated then. Uh, so I can only just bake it and put it in a wrap with like some vegetables, like salad and everything. And then I got food. Okay, I just ended up uh, really quickly filming my spring TBR type of video. These are the books. And then my mom called to tell that she's coming over or something. <laughs> which I'm okay with it, but I was like so in the vibe of like writing articles or like prepping some articles, filming videos, and then I had to go to my sister's place and now I actually have to like, you know, stop that all, but we'll see, we'll see. Um, I haven't been reading, I haven't went to the store to get the flowers in that phase. I will be doing that tomorrow, because the store that I was planning on going for the flowers I think they get flowers on Wednesday and Thursday if, I'm, if I remember correctly. I used to work there and I don't even remember correctly. I mean, work there as like a student. So I work there mostly on Saturdays, so. <laughs> but I just have to go check if they have like white flowers. Okay, I just got home from my other sister's house. Um, we have like, like played board games and everything over there. Like you could see my uh, desk or desk, like my dinner table is quite messy. I'm not gonna clean it all up because I'm planning on making dinner right now, I think. I have no clue how late it actually is. I'm planning on making dinner right now. And then, you know, while I eat dinner, I mostly just watch some YouTube videos or something like that. And then I'll just go to my other sister's house to um, take care of her animals. And once I'm back, I might just work a little bit more like edit or stuff like that. Wow. <laughs> Sorry for the bad angle. Like, I might just edit it a little bit more or do something else or I might just clean it all up. I am not sure. Okay, I still don't have flowers for <laughs> my pretty vase. Where I know they see like fruits and vegetables and flowers and everything. And I was just hoping for like white roses or white tulips because it's obviously it's a pink vase. It's only like a tissue box holder that fits into the decor, but that's not my biggest worry. Um, so I was looking for that, and they only had like red and pinks and everything, and I really want to have that vase. I, I have a clear vase that I could have used, but 
but I just really want that base because it's just gives a pop of color a different type of pop, pop of color and I didn't want to like swap it to a clear vase because tomorrow I have my house warming party and I don't know I asked like a lot of decor plants stuff type things so I have no clue what they're giving me so if I was like putting a clear vase somewhere else with like colorful flowers and they give me a vase of flowers or something then I don't have an idea where I have to put those flowers <laughs> okay I haven't been reading today but I finally got my flowers um, it's not really pretty but I have like no knowledge about like flower arrangements or anything um, I just bought a couple of flowers from a store like the grocery store actually even because I just wanted something in there um, <laughs> I couldn't stand the fact that if I watched TV or something that there was just like an empty vase so but in the end I do realize that in the package I look pretty okay and uh, once I was like unpacking them and trying to fit them pretty in that vase it's not horrible but you see that I have zero knowledge about flowers okay you guys are back in my kitchen uh, today is Friday and Friday is my housewarming day which is um, really exciting um, I went to buy some more, wait, somewhat alcohol. Um, I'm not planning on drinking too much, but I just have some in my house for my friends because I have like this wine, but not everybody likes that particular wine. So, and I decided to just say, talk, tell them to bring their own alcohol. But you know, these are things like, these are some type of cider that I do drink once in a while. So if it's just left in my house, it's okay. I also tried a new one from like another brand. What, which was like an apple cider. I don't know if it's good, but I don't care. I got some stuff. <laughs> and then uh, I just got some chips and everything. So, but right now, first thing I'm gonna do is take a shower because I didn't take a shower this morning before otherwise, because otherwise my hair was wet to go to the store and I didn't wanna go to the store with wet hair. I have no clue if I'm gonna be reading that much. Yesterday I did read like 100 pages in End of Watch and I'm liking it more and more. But on the other hand, I'm also like, it's okay that it's, done right now but it's not done yet so it's just lengthy for no reason or at least i feel it gets lengthy for no reason i'm also just gonna dress myself up after like lunch and everything and after all the baking because i know myself i will probably just spill baking stuff all over the place okay um it's almost two o'clock and my apple pie is done uh i hope it kind of felt like it's like undercooked in the middle but like I put it in longer and it stayed somewhat undercooked or the undercooked feeling so <laughs> I kind of wished it's ready wow I look really pale right now hello it's Saturday uh, yesterday I haven't read a thing so um, well I got nothing to show you guys today I've been doing some uh, laundry and I've actually oops, and actually reading sprinting almost the entire day i still have to do like some stuff away like yesterday was my housewarming party most of the gifts are sorted at their place some of them are just standing there yelling at me like please give me a spot and i have no clue yet well some of them just need to go into the other part of the laundry like i finished and watch finally finished it um i do have to say i somewhat skimmed read like the last 20 to 30 pages because i just wasn't enjoying it myself anymore that much but i did want to know what happened on a certain level but like i didn't feel like reading for those 30 pages like straight i mean i read them but like let's just say i i didn't read them fully like i skipped a sentence here and there or something like that i gave it 2.5 stars by the way and right now I do know I own two other Stephen King books and I'm afraid that all of his books are going to be this long and dreading and not much happening with like a lot of words to explain something and not that interesting because that's what I really had in this story. The other two stories I knew they were quite long but I still had like a certain interest and a certain excitement to get around to the story. This one, I just was like, I know this is going to happen, and it eventually happened, so I was like, yeah, okay. Uh, it was too predictable, and the writing was too long that I just didn't enjoy it anymore. Um, but I'm still reading sprinting, like I said, and I'm going to start with my sister, the serial killer, from 
Okinan Oyinkan Braithwaite, I think. I'm hoping I pronounced that right. It's on my e-reader. Um, I still have to read two more books to finish the healer prompts. I did read some books for the Archmage already during the 48-hour readathon because those were shorter books, so I could get through them quickly or for that 48-hour uh, Romathon Peace Truce weekend. Hello! It's already Monday actually, but I'm just closing off my vlog because I kind of forgot to vlog yesterday. Um, yesterday I finished My Sister the Serial Killer. I gave it a four stars. I did really enjoy it. It was a little um, weird in the beginning, like the writing style was a bit weird because I decided, because I thought we were going to get more of a thriller who done it type of book and it was actually more of a storytelling type of contemporary thriller book. I did really enjoy it. It was really nice to read something different into the thriller genre because mainly I read mystery thrillers um, a lot of the time if I read thrillers so it was fun. Uh, once you got used to the writing style it really went quickly. I think I finished a book in three hours or so. So it's really a fast-paced and quick read. The re our origins were Nigerian, um, so sometimes the words were a little uh, difficult, but throughout the context of the story, you do really understand it. Um, so yeah, that's a book down for my healer prompt. And I'm on to my last book for the healer prompts. I started this one yesterday evening. It's, I read like two chapters, and that's Honey and Issues Guide to Fake Dating. Like I said, it's the last one in my healer prompt, so I might even get my Archmage prompts done because I have read some for my Archmage prompts already. Um, like those short stories I read through the um, Romadon Peace Truce weekend. So I'm so happy that everything is going so quickly and so fun. I am definitely enjoying myself. Tomorrow I have to start work again, so that's going to be a little bit different for me. But I won't mind. I mean... It's, it was fun to have two weeks off, but like I'm dying to have some more structure and some rhythm and actually to get back to work because I don't mind working that much because I work a lot from home. So it would be fun to finally get that working day structure again and not just hang on my couch reading a book or watching YouTube or watching Netflix all the time. But this is the closing of my vlog. If you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of me, hit that subscribe button down below, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!